Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Pantest Hint and in this video we're gonna discuss about what is Mac 3 attack. So attack it's basically adversarial, tactics, techniques and common knowledge matrix for enterprise. So basically uh, it's uh, that there are three iterations that enterprise, mobile and ICS. And this framework is for understanding uh, that attacker behavior and tactics. So it's provide a, that structure model to categorize and describe the various tactics, techniques and procedures and uh, that adversaries used during the cyber attacks or that incident response plannings. So basically there are three major components of that attacks. So first of all, the tactics which is denoting the short term or the tactical advisory goals during an attack then techniques so basically it describe the means of which adversaries uh, like achieve the tactics goal and third is documented adversary which is used of techniques and other metadata so we can see that for the enterprise version and in enterprise so we can see that recon uh, resources development initial access execution persistent and so on so basically in that enterprise matrix our objectives are to present that linearly uh, that from point of reconnaissance to the final goal of exfiltration or impact so let's discuss that one by one so first of all that recon so basically we know uh, this is used for that gathering information to plan that further advisory operations information about the target organizations and all second is resource development which established that resources to support operations like uh, command and centers setting up uh, like in the infrastructure third is initial access which we are trying to get uh, our target network like through the spare phishings and all then our execution so we are trying to run that malicious code to running at that remote access control fifth is persistent so in persistent we are trying to maintain the foothold or like changing the configurations and all and number six is that privilege escalation so we are trying to gain higher level permissions or that leveraging a uh, that vulnerability or to like elevate that access and all then next is that defense evasion so in this we are trying to uh, that avoid being detected like uh, using trusted process to that hide malware and all then number eight is that credentials access so in credentials access we are stealing accounts name and passwords through that key logging etc the ninth is the discovery so discovery in we are trying to get uh, that figure out uh, that our target environment to explore like what they can control and all next is the lateral movement so we are moving through uh, the target environment using like legitimate that credentials to uh, that fired through that multiple systems and all and uh, the next one is the collections so in collections we are gather like data of interest to that advisory goals like accessing data in cloud storage and all and uh, the next is that command and control so basically it's a communicating with uh, that compromise system to the control so we are just uh, mimicking that normal web traffic to communicate with a victim network and the next is our exfiltration so in exfiltration we just steal the data and transfer data to the cloud account and last one is our impact so manipulate interrupt or destroy system and data so basically it's encrypting data with uh, that ransomware so we can just add like multiple uh, type of uh, attacks and what's their impact now we can see uh, like every uh, tactics have uh, their multiple techniques so for example that privilege escalation so we can see uh, there are 14 techniques so abuse elevation control mechanism access token manipulations and uh, when i just uh, click on uh, that symbol so we can see their sub techniques also so like in access token manipulations there are five uh, sub techniques that token impersonation theft create process with token mac and impersonate tokens 
parent PID spoofing, SID history injections and all. But if I just click on uh, the tactics part, so I can uh, read about uh, like in depth like what is the access token manipulations and uh, just click on that sub techniques. There are more multiple options. There are sub IDs which you have to mention in your report that uh, like you take uh, that reference with these sub techniques for example that create process with techniques or parent PID spoofing and all. So procedure examples uh, we can see uh, there are like lots of example like apple seed through black cat, blue, uh, monkey braid, uh, C r c0017 cuba so we can see that apple seed can gain system level privilege by bypassing that uh, c debug privilege to the adjust token privilege apis or black cat has the ability to modify that access tokens so we can see there are multiple examples of uh, their procedures then there are uh, mention of the mitigations like privileged account management and user account management so how can you mitigate this uh, that issue and you can uh, just send to your client or the development team that this is the mitigation steps as per that metre attack and there are some uh, de detections also like data source from that uh, active directory data component that modifications like command in command execution that process for that operating system that api executions process creations process metadata that user account and all and same as it is if i want to like see in their execution part or persistent part so i have to just click on uh, their tactics and if you see uh, that sign that means uh, there are some more sub techniques so through these tactics uh, we can see the techniques part and we can uh, follow the process now if you want to see like all show sub techniques so you can just click on this one now you can easily understand like uh, if i am using that active scanning so there are scanning ip blocks vulnerability uh, scanning world scanning and gather victim host information so it's divided into hardware software firmware client configurations and all so if you want to like read more about about that mitigations or procedure uh, that uh, examples so you can just click on that software parts and you can see their procedures examples your mitigations and your detections so through this uh, framework you can uh, like you will make sure about that you like never miss uh, at a single steps during this the uh, during this assessment now if I just uh, click on that mobile part so we can see that initial access execution persistent privilege escalation and so on so it's uh, like similar uh, the definitions of uh, these keywords but yes again it's working like the same so uh, if I want to that privilege escalation so I can see that exploiting for privilege escalation and uh, I can see uh, about that exploitation of privilege escalations, about the mitigations, about the detections, uh, detections, and uh, so there are so there is uh, like some steps which we have to follow, and it ensure by that metre attack. And we can mention if I found like it's uh, that OWASP put top 10 vulnerabilities if we found any injection so we just mentioned uh, that we found like SQL injection which is like union based or any type of injection so we just mentioned about that OWASP top 10 uh, their fix ID so we can just directly refer uh, to this vulnerability with the help of that particular that unique ID same as it is for ICS so in ICS we can see uh, that again that initial access that execution persistence and all so uh, this is the same procedure uh, which we have to follow but uh, if you are doing that pen testing or uh, some incident response planning or just threat intelligence or defense strategies so you can use uh, that metric attack so basically uh, that metric attack like in used in uh, the different different scenarios for example that adversaries uh, that emulation so in this we are access uh, that security by applying that intelligence about an uh, adversary and how they operate to emulate a threat 
or we can use in red teaming so it acts as an uh, like adversary to demonstrate the impact of the breach so attack can be used to uh, that create red team plans and that organize uh, multiple operations we can use in behavioral that analytics development so it's like linked together to suspicious activity to monitor that adversary attack and uh, attack can be uh, used to simplify and organize pattern of that suspicious activity and deemed malicious and uh, the defensive gap assessment uh, we can use uh, that framework which for that determines like what part of the enterprise lack defenses and uh, their visibility so that method attack can be used uh, to access existing tool or test new tool prior to uh, that purchasing to uh, identify or determining that security coverage and prioritize investment and most of the important in SOC maturity assessment. So similar to the defensive, uh, that gap assessment, that method attack can use to determine like how effective a security operation center, which we known as uh, that SOC. So is it like detecting or analyzing and uh, that uh, uh, responding to the breaches? Or we can use in that cyber threat intelligence uh, in so to enhance uh, like our information about the threats and uh, the threat attackers so uh, that method attack allows uh, to defend to access whether like they are able to defend against specific uh, that advanced persistent threats uh, and like common behavior across that multiple actors so in conclusion part uh, which is like accurate knowledge based and model for that cyber security adversary behavior which reflecting uh, the various phases of an adversary attack life cycle and the platform they are no known to target so this is our method attack so it's a quite simple you can see uh, like everything about uh, like in this matrix sections so like pre windows mac linux cloud uh, containers so if i just click on cloud so you can see that azure ad and uh, now we can see if i want to attack on that azure ad so there's like fixed process for the google processes saas eas office 365 so initial access execution persistence and all so yes uh, this is like that useful and uh, very informative uh, framework which you have to like know about like how it is work and like where you can use uh, this metre attack so in this video that's enough for the day and uh, we'll discuss like another topic in another video so just tata and bye bye